Hi, I know what you're feeling. You're angry, you're irritated, you're wasting time in class because you have kids that complain all the time. Well, I feel your pain and that's why you've got to stick around for this video because I'm going to talk about some positive discipline in early childhood education techniques for kids that complain. So stick around. Hi, I'm Adriana. Welcome back to my channel where you can find tips and tricks for teachers of English for children. So who are these kids? These are the ones that seek attention with comments like, why me? It's not my turn. I never get to go first. Let him do it. They always act as if they are the only ones doing anything when actually they hardly ever do anything at all. They actually often seem bored and they will question everything you say, whether it be rules or decisions or deadlines, they will always, always question your authority. And I know what you want to do, but don't do it. The first thing, don't get defensive. Don't start an argument with this child. Don't treat this child differently. Don't reject everything they have to say. And don't side with the other kids against the complaining child. An important thing to do is to remember that this student lacks self-esteem and probably fears failure. So make sure to check that the workload is not too much for the kid. Ignore long-term goals for the moment and concentrate on mini tasks. Depending on your child's age, you might also want to have a private conference with the child. Sit down together to find out what's really bothering that person and show that you're willing to lend an ear. And when you have that private conference, make sure you start out asking the child, well, tell me, what do you think we should do about it? Do you have any ideas? And listen to what they have to say first before you open up your big mouth and come out with all of the solutions. Make sure you listen to everything they have to say, even if you don't agree with it, because that way they know that they can confide in you. And when you have trust, you have everything. These are just some of the things that you can do when you have kids that complain, but there are other things too. Make sure to check out these videos right here for more tips on positive discipline for kids that complain. And if they are not up yet, then make sure to subscribe because they will be real soon. And meanwhile, check out this playlist right here for some more positive discipline techniques to help you in your classroom. Thanks for watching.